Welcome back to Media Watch. Our next piece of news here is coming from Guangdong Province. Now, that's in the south of China. And yesterday we spoke about how five people were detained um, in protests um, over land grabs. And that was um, protests that occurred back in September that became very violent. And uh, that led to attacks on government buildings as well as vehicles. Well, today's news won't soften tensions between authorities and villagers. Instead, it does just the opposite and it adds more fuel to the fire. And that's with one of the suspects' death. Now, the South China Morning Post is reporting that the death of Xue Jingbo. Now, Xue was one of the five people detained on suspicions that they were leaders in those protests. Circumstances around his death may fan tensions. The local government released the statement that the cause of death was due to cardiac failure, but according to the South China Morning Post, many villagers suspect authorities haven't been truthful, saying that Shira's relatives saw his body at a funeral parlor and told other villagers that the body had bruises. One of the 12 village representatives on a committee formed to negotiate with the city and village officials over the seizure of land was quoted here saying that the people saw dark bruises on Shira's back and chest and that one of his thumbs was fractured and there was actually strangulation marks around his neck. Now that representative, who remained unnamed for fear of retribution, said the committee suspects Shira was tortured for a confession and that they are requesting Shira's body to conduct an independent autopsy. Now, according to some reports coming out of here, 100 riot police were blocking the village's entrance yesterday, and police vehicles have been stationed. Now, villagers have accused officials of illegally seizing uh, land, over 400 hectares of farmland, in fact. And so this is kind of what sparked the, uh, the protests in the first place. Mm, sounds very unfortunate. Hopefully uh, people will get to the bottom of this soon.